Well, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Time for Coops, Philippa Cooper, the owner of, of course, Sweet William, the former breeder of Gregory. What's this around about round 20 between these two? Yeah, I mean, I don't like it that they're running again against each other. It's like having two sons running against each other. I think it's a very poor indictment of British breeding that I bred two out of the six runners. And in the TBA this month, there's an article on, sorry, Thoroughbred Breed Association on uh, global warming and sustainability. I think we need to worry more about the death of our British states. I think a lot of people would agree with you. Away from that, though, the good, the good news is that the one you've kept, and I know you'll say, well, I really need the ones I sell to do well, but the one you've kept is doing better than Gregory. So you did the right thing keeping Sweet William, you did the right thing selling Gregory for all that Qatar cash. I think there's nothing between them, Matt. I think, I mean... There clearly is something, quite a lot. Well, a so, neck. Well, just a neck. Depends which race you pick, Coops. Well, let's see what happens today. It could be one one month and the other one another month. I described this morning, Sweet William, as quirky, a little bit, of course, like yourself, and they often say horses take after their owners. Um, but would you take umbrage with that? Yeah, I wouldn't say I was quirky. Well, I was thinking more about Sweet William, to be honest. <laughs> Clearly, you're quirky. <laughs> no argument there. No one's going to debate that. I don't think he's quirky. I think he's just got his own ideas, that's all, about Isn't that quirky? No, quirky's different. Quirky is sort of odd, a right. bit sort of haphazard and sort of throwing one's limbs around. I think he just has his own ideas. He's haphazard if he hits the front too soon, though, isn't he? Yeah, he... So he I is quirky. Think, well, I don't know that's quirky. We've got a different idea. I mean, mm. I was a teacher, so I sort of... I think that I might know better. I think as a pupil, I wouldn't have taken you on as a, as a teacher. I think you would be... You, were you terrifying in the classroom? No, I had to teach at a school called Felton Community School, which was next to Felton Young Offenders. Right. So that's where I developed my persona and my ability to deal with people such as yourself. <laughs> which you do rather well. Um, so, summing up today, I mean, you must come here thinking... I mean, on everything you know, you've got a good chance. And last year... You were away from Trushan. It was almost like Trushan mugged you. I never go to a race and think that I've got a good chance of winning. I mean, I know Kip Krios isn't here today, but there's plenty of others. And if you look at the ratings, there really isn't much between any of us. And Point Lonsdale, who knows what he's going to do. They're not sending Kip Krios, but they're sending him. So I don't know. Okay. But we've got you, quirks or not. We'll look forward to your horse a little bit later. Lovely to speak to you as always. Thank you. And that race is less than an hour away. Philippa, very much the boss in that friendship.